going on, y'all? Intro alone, you know who this is. It's Mr. Warmax, so I'm about to give you a video. This video is going to be the skeletons you don't want to admit that are there in the closet. Now, I'm talking about, you know, let me go. Everybody talks about, when you see it on your YouTubes, you see it on your uh, Facebooks, your Daily Motions, your Twitters, your all that. Everybody wants to go in on Islamics and Muslims. But, let me tell you this. The same people going in on Islamics and Muslims are not talking about these little Catholic priests fucking little boys. Why is that? Because it hits too close to home, that's why. Now, there was a, there was a, uh, a big, 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 big cover up in Chicago that got busted wide open. I guess these little these priests, go figure, were messing with little boys. And what got me is the, dio dio what's it, the, the diocese knew about it. But what they were doing is what they what all the dioceses do. They shuffled around to another diocese, and that, that so they can spread their little sickness and ilk elsewhere. But what gets me is nobody nobody really talks about this. Go go look on your Facebooks, Twitters, and you. I mean, there may be a story and people make their comments, but you don't see a lot of videos about this out there. But yet they can make a million videos about Islamics, Muslims, Jewish people, and other things. Why don't you want to recognize the demons that are in your closet? And that's why I don't respect a lot of people. Because you won't clean out your you won't clean up your house, but you want to tell me how to clean my house. Like I said, if, if, if the cat the, if the pope was serious, he would have get they he would have gave up the names of all these Catholic priests. Hell, you don't have to turn them to the police. Just give the names up. Trust me, they won't be walking for long in some places. But it's the, still the Vatican and you Catholics have continued to cover it up. You guys are the same ones who have a shit fit over somebody getting a divorce, yet it's okay for for uh, for for the good pastor or good priest, you know, McGonagall, be sleeping with little Johnny, and you guys have no problem with it. But yet, if a Muslim car bombs something, every Muslim is a, uh, an extremist. And this is the point I'm trying to make. If you look. There, there are not a lot of people talk about. They'll talk about Muslims. They'll talk about Jewish people. When it comes to talking about the old, good old disciples of the old white guy Jesus, you don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about that. I mean, in Chicago, and I guess there's been there's been a lot of arrest. I don't know. I got I got to dig deep. I'm just hearing about this. But uh, when I saw this, I said to myself, Where are, "Where's all the YouTube videos? Where's all the Facebook pages? Where's all the Twitter posts? Where's all the Daily Motion videos about this about this activity? Nobody's saying anything." But yet they they want to condemn every Islamic and Jewish group out there, and I think what it is is I don't I don't think they want to deep down and admit that they got a problem. I mean it's quite obvious if if you got a grown man fucking little boys, I think there's a problem. You no, know, I'm no Columbo, but you know I think there's a problem. But and this is why I don't respect people because until you deal with that, deal with the other stuff. So, like I said, you're not being consistent. And I tell Barry the three C's. Clear, concise, and consistent. So, you call, there'll be a lot of more Muslim people blown up using I, IEDs, this and that, a third. And, be, and, every, and every woman who wears a shawl is extremist. But it's okay for priests to fuck little boys. And now it's okay for homosexuals to marry. Alright, this world's going to hell in a handbasket. Law you wearing gasoline draws. I'm out. Peace.